closer look, the government says the economy added almost half a million jobs in the last two months. I'm Stephanie Malconi. And I'm Haley Alford. Over 80% of animals on Earth are insects. We now know what happened. Your CSN News starts now. exceeded 200,000 for a ninth straight month in October, and the jobless rate unexpectedly fell to a six-year low of 5.8 percent, indicating companies are optimistic the U.S. economy can handle a slowdown in some overseas markets. The government's also revised September's new job number to 256,000. Between September and October, nearly half a million jobs were added to the economy. A federal appears court panel upheld bans on same-sex marriage in four states Thursday, a break with other federal courts that makes it almost certain that the Supreme Court must take up the issue of whether gay couples have a constitutional right to marry. A panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit in Cincinnati ruled two to one to overturn lower court rulings in Michigan, Ohio, Tennessee, and Kentucky, and this makes the Sixth Circuit and the first the first appeals court to uphold state bans since the Supreme Court struck down part of the Federal Defense of the Marriage Act in 2013. Of the 1.6 million animals known to science, nearly 80% of those are arthropods, or insects and their country relatives. Our planet is dominated by insects, so when and how did insects take over the Earth? Over 100 scientists working with DNA, statistics, fossils, and anatomy say insects' ancestors likely originated about 479 million years ago. Insect flight emerged around 406 million years ago, around the same time plants began to really diversify on land and grow upward into forests. The explosive diversification of insects into most of the major orders we see today happened before the emergence of flowering plants. We'll be right back after these messages. It's college application week for all seniors. Seniors, be ready to apply to at least one college on November 11th, 12th, and 13th. You will have the opportunity to apply to colleges of your choice while receiving assistance from teachers and counselors. If unsure what colleges to apply to, the Career Center will be hosting sessions where students can meet with teachers from different colleges and answer questions about their experiences. The sessions will start during lunch on November 10th and run through Friday, November 14th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Kimball in the Career Center. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one. And visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is of 60 with a low of 41, and tomorrow's high is of 57 with a low of 37. The at-risk attendance sheets have been posted in the foyer. Please take a look. If your student ID number is on one of the sheets, you need to talk to your grade level attendance dean about appealing for credit. Freshmen, that's Mr. Netto. Sophomores, find Mrs. Pillman. Juniors, Mrs. Keister. And seniors, Mr. Ewing. There will be a brief football meeting this Friday after school. All students that finish the football season, please attend. The FB Banquet is Tuesday, November 11th at 6 p.m. in the Commons. The first annual Winter Cat Blast will be hosted by the Wildcat Boosters on November 15th from 5 to 7 p.m. Come join the introductions of the winter teams and clubs. There will be food, fundraisers, and games. Attention wrestlers, the final mandatory meeting in the wrestling room is Monday after school. Everyone must attend, no exceptions. If you are wrestling this season, you will be at the meeting. Attention students and staff, Veterans Day is coming soon and the Columbia ASB will continue to honor those who have served by hosting the 7th annual Veterans Day luncheon. This year's event will take place next Wednesday in the library and will run from 11 to 12.30. As always, Olive Garden will be catering and will also feature an, ar an array of great desserts. Sign up for this tribute to those in uniform in the main office today. Trying out for boys basketball? Tryouts are going to be held November 14th from 3 to 6 and November 15th from 8 to 10 a.m. Be sure to get your paperwork in. You can bring it to the last open gym next Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. or turn it in to Coach Young by, November, by Wednesday, November 12th. Also, wrestlers don't forget, weight search are today at 3 o'clock in the locker room. The Nampa FFA scholarship auction is tonight in the Ag Shop. Dinner and silent auction at 5.30 p.m. and live auctions at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door. Looking to get out in the evenings? Need an extracurricular activity that means fun and travel? 
Our Lady Cats basketball team is looking for someone to shoot game film for review. We'll get you into the games for free and travel with the team. If you're interested, see Coach Han and stop by broadcast or stop by broadcasting and talk to Mr. Allen. Don't miss this chance to be part of the team. Today's SAT word of the day is recipient, a noun that means persons who receive something. You could use it this way. Mr. Allen would gladly be the recipient of a fresh donut. That's your news. We'll see you again Monday right here on the Wildcat Wire.